Hey everyone, so today's Q&A Quickie Friday is about weight loss. And I get this question a lot from like heaps and heaps of people, so I decided to choose this one. It's not from anyone in particular, but it is from a host of people. So the question is, really, how long did it take you to lose all the weight? You know, you're a skinny bitch now, how'd you get there? So, I'm not actually a skinny bitch, by the way, either. Hey, I have muscles, man. Look, I have more muscle than most females, okay? And some males. Alright, so next time you call my arms twigs, get this in your face. Mm, I am a lean fit bitch. Lean raw fit bitch. Back to today's question, how long did it take you to lose all the weight? Well, to be honest, it took me the whole five years. You know, it's been five years on this lifestyle, and I started around 70 kilos or more. You know, I jumped on the scales, it was 70 kilos. I got off after that. I didn't want to see any more. So I have a lot of women saying, well, you know, why am I, why am I gaining weight on this lifestyle? What's happening? Well, I don't know personally what's happening with you, but I can talk for myself. I had a past of anorexia, bulimia, drug taking, and it was pretty ugly. You know, I disrespected my body a lot. I screwed up my metabolism a lot. I was exercising as well, but I was just doing so much bad shit to my body that it didn't matter. You know, I, I just kept stuffing it up. So that contributes a lot to what happens when you first come on this lifestyle. So for me, within the first year, year and a half, I was still carrying a fair bit of weight. My body was trying to balance out. After all these years of not getting enough calories and then getting heaps of calories and then you're having drugs and, you know, rah, rah, rah and spewing and all that stuff. Finally, I had enough calories and high carbohydrate calories. You know, I used to eat a lot of fat. I used to have a high fat diet, like a paleo diet, high fat. And that was shit. You know, that was actually making me lethargic, making me fatter. And at the time, I didn't have a clue. I didn't know about it. You know, for every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. So if you starve yourself, then your appetite is going to be ramped up in the future so the weight balances out again. You starve yourself, the weight goes down. Your appetite comes up in the future and the weight comes up to balance out. That's just how it happens. For every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. So you're never going to get away with it. All those times that you've been under eating, vomiting up food, um, starving yourself, whatever, it's going to come back and bite you in the ass for a little bit. So just expect that. So there's going to be a little bit of ass biting for maybe the first year, maybe the first two years. I don't know about you but I can talk about myself. And it was about a year, year and a half that it was still fluctuating and wasn't coming down so much. It was just kind of sitting there. And to be honest, I was thinking, I don't know, I'm not very happy with this. I don't know if I want to stay on this lifestyle. I was starting to think that. And the only reason I was thinking that is because my goal was, you know, firmly placed on weight loss. That was the reason, that was the main reason I came to the lifestyle. I wanted to lose weight. And I know that's probably the main reason you came to the lifestyle if you're female. That's probably the main reason. And when we have this focus, it just, it really screws up our, our goals, our results, because we're not focusing on health, gaining health and fitness. So on this lifestyle, if we don't see it straight away, the weight loss, and it's our highest like value, then we're likely to just fall off because we're likely to start under eating, starving ourselves again, just like every other diet, and we get hungry, of course, and then our brain goes, oh my god, like it sends you to a dense calorie source that you previously knew, you know, like something cooked, for some people meat, you know, if you don't have any ethical attachment to animals, then you're, you're probably going to go back to eating meat and dairy, flesh and pus, and you know that's not good for you, absolutely not good for you, not good for the planet, for the animals, if you don't shift your focus off weight loss, then you're going to find it really hard on this lifestyle. You need to start focusing on health, feeling better. You know you feel better on this lifestyle. Feeling better, you know, the skin's better, um, you know, your state of mind, your fitness, your energy levels, all of that. You've got to focus on that, and that's when the other results will come. You know, you didn't get to where you are now within a year, did you? You know, you've been on this lifestyle, on that previous lifestyle for like, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Do you, can you expect, is it realistic for you to expect to get results within a year or two even? Like some people may. That's fantastic. You know, I know you're going to get results like better skin, better digestion, better energy levels within even the first couple of months. But 
the whole wait thing, it may take a bit longer. But just remember, you didn't get here overnight. And fruit and veggies isn't going to be able to reverse that overnight. Just be realistic. Get real problems. You know, the people around you don't want to hear you whining about your weight. It's not good for your self-esteem and it's not going to get you the results that you desire. So you need to concentrate on the carbohydrates, keeping the carbs high and keeping the fat low. You know, it's called fat for a reason because it makes people fat. If you have excess fat in your body, if you're ingesting excess fat, it's going to your ass, it's going to your gut, it's going to wherever you favor to store the fat. It's going to go there. Just remember that. Carbohydrates are rarely ever stored as fat, if ever. So you can eat to your heart's content because you eat and eat and eat and you get the fix. You get the brain fix. You get that carbohydrate satiation which says, I don't want to eat anymore. You don't get that feeling like, oh, yeah, I'm full, like this, you know, the fat sort of sludgy fullness. But in your head, you're like, I want dessert. I want something sweet now. You don't get that. If you eat enough carbohydrates, you eat enough fruit, then you are not going to get that. And that's where the lean bean comes into it. You know, if you do that enough, the weight will come down and down and down. But you have to pay for your past mistakes, your past abuses. You have to pay them back. Like I said, for every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. What, what you, you know, you you doing YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm, what are you doing? I'm the YouTube star, man. You think you're the YouTube star? That, you, that is it Max Care, is it? Oh my god. That? The monkey Dur has come to say hello. Duran Ryder, man. You can't get rid of him. He's just a camera whore, man. I'm like top <laughs> ten, man. I'm, I'm the I'm the you know you, I don't think you're even in the top ten. Really? Look at those legs, poor. So yeah, that's what, that's what people come to see. <laughs> the bananas and oh, dates, man. Oh jeez, you can't help him. Mushrooms. You, just... you don't even you don't even crack the top ten, man. I'm I'm number one. Yeah, the man's yeah. Number two. Whatever helps you sleep at night, You're honey. Like, Whatever helps you sleep at night. Now, like now put that banana where it fits. Put that banana where it fits. <laughs> so anyway, every action for every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. There just there is every time. So you cannot escape that. It's not a bad thing. It's just how the universe works. All right, so just accept it, move on, get some real problems. Well, don't get some problems, but just remember that this isn't a real problem. This is just how life goes. It's going to get better, but you need to really get the right focus. And when I did this, that's when my life changed. That's when the ball really started rolling. And remember, you're not going to find any long-term high-carb raw vegans who have got problems, you know, who've got weight problems. You're just not going to find them. If you do find them, let me know because no one has ever found one to show me. I'm still waiting. Okay, so Heidi's coming up soon in a day or so. And she changed her name to High Carb Heidi. So I think that's kind of a better name too. Like, you know, I kind of tried to tell her that the Heidi, Heidi underwear was a bit, you know, a bit rude and stuff. And she, she's like, yeah, yeah, you're right. So, so she's going to be back in a few days making a recipe. So stay tuned for that. And next week... I'm going to aim to do a tutorial and a rant. I'm not sure about the tutorial, but I'm definitely going to be ranting because I love to rant. And yeah, anyway, thanks for listening and I'll talk to you later. You can put your questions down here if you want, if there's something really badly you want me to answer. And then people can vote it up and then I can answer the one that's most voted up. All right, see you later. So this is me today. Pretty lean, not starving myself, not over-exercising, just doing the right thing by my body, finally. Okay, you got to remember that your body doesn't trust you right now. You have to earn the trust of your body again, okay? Maybe your body has never trusted you because you've been shoveling shit in and you've been inactive and just dehydrated, not looking after yourself. So remember, you've got to earn the trust again. Earn the trust again, all right? And that's going to take a bit of time. It's not going to happen overnight. I mean, like, if your partner cheats on you, are you going to trust them straight away? No way. As soon as they come back in, you know, give you some roses and start treating you right, are you going to trust them straight away? No way. It might take you a year. It might take you two years. The trust has to be earned through consistently doing the right thing by your body.